a new painting tutorial and I'm going to paint all these cocksmiths following the colors scheme or trying to be as close as possible to the colors schemes of the hammer hole. Okay, so this is from the uh, uh, hammer hole, the, the, the Warhammer quest, the, the, the one based on the hammer hole, and I'm going to paint him following this color. So we are going to do the clothes in deep blue and then we are going to combine gold and and silver on the other parts. So for the clothes I'm going to use uh, this color, Cantor Blue, as a base color. Okay. We are going to apply this on the clothes. So just give me a moment. As you can see, I apply just a thin coat of Canto Blue. Okay. I try to respect the, you know, this type of ornament. Here yeah, we are going to. All the different parts. to fill this part here so to be sure when I do this ornament I have the blue in the recesses okay. I don't know what if you go a little bit over these ornaments but we are going to paint them later as you can see I will not use contrast paints in this case as the miniature was primed a while ago and I primed it doing zenithal priming okay so black base and then I did on top white not too much of white I wanted to keep it quite dark okay, here we go to do the armor okay here I was checking yeah, this armor 
we are going to do this metallics so we are going to come we are I'm going to use more maybe more metallic that what you see in the colors from hammer hole like as a metallic I'm going to use iron breaker okay this is the color iron breaker Idea is to put these in different parts of the armor, and we are going to combine the gold with the iron breaker. Okay, but I think now what is more, I will use the gold more on the shoulder pads and other parts, and then. The ornament, for example, the parts that are very ornamented, I will do it in gold. The parts that are more are flatter, I will do it in silver or in iron. Okay, so I will do that, and I'm back once this time. So I have blocked here all the colors for the silver, and next I'm going to use. Cadian flesh tone okay to do the flesh so the, the, the idea here I'm doing now is to block all the colors to understand how all they go together and from there we will start doing the highlights and the more shades and highlights and so on okay, I have like this part of the face that is visible okay, and you want to do this before doing the the beer right so this is a small part so if you deal that the beer is not a problem you will come later on to paint the beer and when we are going to do as well the arm okay and the hand that is holding the axe so I have put the color and I'm back. Okay, the flesh color is done. Now we are going to use retributor armor for the golden parts. This will include some ornaments. This will include as well the shoulder pads and other things, right? For example, we will apply it on this type of ornaments he has on holding from the beer here. We are going to do part of the helmet. So different, and you can see that this color works very well on top of uh, this dark. I try not to go over the silver and try not to go over the blue neither. Okay, now you have to be clean with the colors that you already applied. So I will do that. Okay, this is a difficult part to reach. I will do that and I come when this is done. So you will see where the gold is applied, but you will see. There is not much mystery, right? So you just do a thin layer of retributor armor and you can see how fast it covers all the silver. Okay, I do that and I come back. So this is how it looks like when I have done the gold. Okay, and now I'm going to use Wraith Bone for the beer. I want to give a warm white to the beer, so I will start with red bone. And we are going to apply it here, 
okay again I'm applying no base colors and later on we are going to do the shading okay so I apply this on the beer and I come back for the next step okay this goal looks like when we have done the beer next I'm going to use Bimbley Brown on the handle of the axe I don't like to do to use these purple colors or red colors that sometimes we see from Vince Worship I prefer to paint this like if it's uh, leathery okay so I will go for a different tone of leather here and I will do this part with Bimbley Brown again you want to apply this a thin layer you want to keep all the uh, detail here because we the wash will pop up all the uh, texture we have on this axe okay so I go very carefully now I'm using a small brush to have to be precise and to go, to go over other details Okay, you can see how the beer looks like. I go here. Now that all the colors are almost been locked down the middle and we will start the fan that is highlighting. Okay, so we'll finalize the hand the, this handle and we are also going to do these bags at the back. Okay, and I will do as well, you can see I'm also painting this part, uh, I will do as well the these things, okay. So I do all of that and I come back for the next step. Okay, next step I'm going to use um, Dumble Brown to do some of the dark wood or dark, um, some of the detail, right, it's going to be the this I am going to make it fit type of dark boot okay I'm going to do as well this ornament or this the handle of the of the gun here and we are going to do the handles of these small guns there okay so we are going to apply this again this is not very, uh, it's not very difficult, just apply a thin layer and be sure that um, I will move this out. And I prefer to handle with that because then I do less, I, I will do less rubbing on the miniature, right? So we apply here. Here, I need to apply the gold on this. I will not do it on camera, and I will apply. Uh, I will apply the gold on the on this part as well. Okay, on on, on the on this this type of back ornaments, this chimney and so on. So I apply all the dumbbell brown, and I will be back for the next step. Okay. Next step, I'm going to do. Oh, you see how it looks like now. We are going to start with the washes, and I'm going to use um, Drakenhof Nightshade on the blue parts. Okay. So we apply this one. We wait that this dries. This is why they have not done this ornament that is at the base of the cloth because they want to be sure that the wash goes there so then later on we can clean up here next to the auto I want to the gold I want to be careful
we can do this and now yeah, I'm thinking I will do this I will wait that this device because so I'm going to be in contact I prefer not to not to risk about to any mixing so I wait at this device and I will and I and I come back so while the blue wash is drying we can work a little bit on the backpack as you can see it has put it the same base colors, but one thing I want to talk here is uh, I'm going to use Balthazar Gold, okay? And it's this to give a little bit of copper color, okay? Contrasting with the gold to give an, uh, add more, a little bit more variety to the metals. And I'm going to use this on the pipes, okay? On this type of chimney. So we are going to do this on all the be part of this chimney and we are going to give a more copper color here that will give a more color variation and it's going to be different than the gold okay as you can see it works quite well on top of the iron breaker we have applied before so I'm going to do that and I'm back Okay, next step I'm going to apply Reglan flesh shade on the skin and on the gold parts. So I'm going to go here first. I'd like to start from the upper part and I go down applying Reglan flesh shade. No, try not to go into the silver. I don't want to give reddish colors on the silver. Here we have the visor. So far I just paint everything gold. We are going to do the glass of the visor later on. Okay, we're just doing that. Okay, it's important because then we we'll have to show the and I like to do this that the color is not uniform all over the plate right here maybe you can you have to be careful because you can see go next and I let the paint to flow into here you can go um, straight forward on both parts because we need to wash with the same wash the skin be careful not to go too into the here if you go a little bit into the into this uh, axe it's not a problem then later on the axe shape will cover any mistake that we do there okay but you can see how much life this is winning just by applying the um, um, Raglan flesh shade here as well. See, let me do a little bit more. I want to do this on camera because I think it's one of the most important steps. The wash, I, it's important to see how to work the wash in a way that is giving a nice result. Get the back. to do as well these rims okay and we are going to work no this arm you can see look here we do the same we go next to it and I let the paint to flow into the recesses between the red line flesh shade to be too visible on top of the here we have a small mistake we need to correct later on okay 
And if you go a little bit on top of the, you go on top of the brown, it's not a problem in this part. When the part is very small like these ones, I don't care if I go a little bit over. Then here, I will not do anything. Just do, I do this decoration there. Okay. And now we do this one. And again, we will wait this device, okay? We are going to do as well, I'm going to do as well the, 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 this back thing, so I will do the pistols. The dwarf. Okay, so I finish this part and I come back. Okay. Next step, I'm going to use Agrax Air Shade on, on the brown details. I'm going to do it, for example, apply it here at the handle of the axe. Okay, something like that. To make sure that we cover all this. Okay, so we do it. that you can do it as well on some parts of the gold to increase the the contrast okay especially where we have this type of decorations and runes not everywhere okay we don't want to darken all the gold we can use it to especially the spars. We can do here this dwarf symbol, the rivets. Okay, here at the back we can do as well. This. And those, of course, this part of the pistol or the gun in this case. I'm going to play it here at the middle of this type of wheels. You can do it here. So we do the details that we think that are interesting to pop up. You can see I'm quite selective where I do this, and I recommend here at the handle to do a couple of layers. You can see that the first layer is not that visible, not put too much because it's not will accumulate down. So we wait at this right, and then we will do a second layer there. I will do over here to add more to increase the contrast in this part. So the idea here is to in increase contrast where you think that this is in this where we have symbols and runes and all this part type of stuff. For example and rivets. We can add around the rivets. Okay. And here on the bracelets we can add it there. Okay, so I think on the we have this. Okay, 
and now we can do the back. The back we do the same, we apply on the brown bar. Okay, so this bars. The interesting, I will do the handles of the pistols and I will apply it here on this copper bar, okay? This one's for sure you want to go with the brown to make it look darker. And in that case, I will apply as well on the top bar, right? This is where uh, this can look like it's smoking. We are going to apply it here around this grid, also to give the sensation that this here we have some smoke or fire or something going on. Okay, these are the only parts of the metallic that I will apply it, of the iron, and then I will do it here on the copper part and so on. So I finalize to apply that and I come back once this comes dry. Okay, next step I'm going to apply noon oil in all the metallic parts. And if you want you can also reinforce some of the um, brown parts. Okay, but the main mainly here what we want to do is to apply it on the metallic parts to add some shading. a little bit of depth to the metal. When I say metallic parts, I mean the iron parts, okay? You can see I apply here on the helmet. And I want to apply it as well. and especially where we have a lot of details we want to apply that to show all the crevices and the details of the armor okay I'm going to apply it here this part here we have to be a little bit careful not to dirt on the gold not to dirt on the skin and I will apply it as I said on some of the brown parts, for example, in this part here. I will apply it especially in this top. You're going to apply it on the gun. Okay, so we have a nice separation of the two gun cannons or gun yeah. nozzles and then So to put it between the gold and the little bit of the, bit of the excess and here I will just go on top of the gold but you can see that the gold is not dirty because it's very thin and we go just next to the gold so it will help also to give contrast between the gold and the um, iron or the steel okay so you do this we are going to do the fingers of the off. Okay, so we keep doing that and we do that for all the metallic parts, okay? So I will do that and I come back once it's done and dry. Okay, this is how it looks like when the wash is half dry. The next step I'm going to use, I was forgetting to say, I also applied a little bit of black at the bottom of the clothes and as well on this part here. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a to Spain, it's apothecary white and I will apply it on the beer of the of the dwarf, okay? So this will give a little bit of shading. I don't want to put too much
and I, as you can see, I'm almost using as it was a wash. Okay. To be quite careful with the pulling, we are applying in this path here. Here, and then we the view. So next step I'm going to do while this is drying, I'm going to work on the cloth and we are going to do now the white. So to do the white on the cloth I will use grey sear first and with passion uh, we are going to do this thing. We can also do if you want. This can take a little bit more time. But you can do the stitches there. Okay. Be careful, just this is fully optional. I think it's a nice detail. And here, I was you can, I think there is two approaches that you can do, you can do them. I did it on white, but I have. I think white is the way to go. But you can also try gold if you want. Then you also put gold on on these borders. Okay, thimbles colors can be used. I prefer to use white in that case. So to do the white, as I, as you say, as I said, I'm going to use gray sear first more as of white and then later on you will see that I will apply the pure white okay so I will keep doing that I will do all this border okay, and I, I'm back for the next step so this is what the clothes look like now okay we are going to do some highlights so I'm going to use now Calidor Sky Together with Cantor Blue, that was the, the color that I, I use. Okay, here we have. And we are going to highlight a little bit this blue to make it more lifeful. Okay, here we have the colors. The idea here is let's take a little brush. Okay, it's to pop up some of this. So I start with the most light blue first to highlight or to mark the part that I want to highlight. Okay, for example this fold like that. And you can see the contrast is not that bad. Now I go with the counter blue just next to it and I will keep doing that. Okay. I will not go much higher in blues. I really want to keep it quite dark. Okay, and 
let's see. Just lose one for the tempo. See that uh, the the brush is as, as I'm using the paint from the brush, my color is lighter and lighter. It's darker and darker. Okay, so I apply less and less color. Now I'm going to use a little bit of the counter blue to smooth all these transitions. Okay, I don't want to go. It's quite flat, this one, so I don't need to. We don't need to go to to extreme highlights, and we don't have big folds or big wrinkles. I'm taking no counter blue. Let's do the face now. Let's do the face because it's the hidden part and then we can do the beard. So to do the face we are going to start with the eyes. Okay, and we'll apply black. Okay. Uh, we don't have um, we only have one eye visible to be fair. So I'm going to apply this. white black something like that now we're going to do some highlights on the skin. Let's close this. Okay, I'm going to use this left flesh.
Dus dat, en, 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 dat is. Dat is. Dat is. Arias are bigger. We are going to use the mix of Kisele Flesh and Cadian Flesh, right? So we first we will use Cadian Flesh. in the hand now. Now we use this left flange. Here's some light color. And normally you try to illuminate more the top part of the muzzle, or the top part of the arm. That will be more exposed to like the bottom part. Okay, but I think like that is enough. We'll use a little bit of Cadian flesh stone on the face because I have the feeling that I went too far with the kiss left and it's not matching the tone. Oh, went a little bit into the eye there. It's, I think it's okay. And the, the bottom part of the eye. To be fair, the eye on this guy. It's quite high then at the end. I think it covered the eye almost. But this is the problem of this dwarf. So the eye is completely inside of the helmet, so it's difficult to, to see. And the eye, because I think I can leave it too small. Okay, but as I said, it's, it's pretty difficult to reach. We can also use gray seer instead of white if you want on the white of the eye. You can see the eye is really small. But I think that that will be enough. Okay, let's.
bit stiff on the head. Now that I have that, I close all these things, all these colors, and we are going to work on the beer. So I'm going to use Scar White. Sorry, scar white. Yeah, white scar. We are going to clean up a little bit the rear, as you can see here, right? So you do something like that. I think this beer is better not to do it in this way than trying to do the very brushing because I think the, the detail is not that deep in some places and the very brushing will not give the best in the case. Here. I will do the lip in a very dark color, a dark skin tone, so I will use Bookman's Glow. Okay. We can use a little bit of the Bullman Glow to add a little bit of shade here. on the beer, as I have done, I will do the other half of the beer and I come back once it's done. So, as you can see how it looks like now the beer, but we are going to use the same white to add some highlight as well on, the, on this, on the cloth. Okay pop up a little bit more the white here on this piece of cloth so we, will do, we are going to do like that and then we will try to do So I do that and I'm back once it is done. So this is how the paint looks like at this stage. And I will stop the video here and do the, the finalizing part in a second part. Uh, because it's, a, it's almost one hour of video and for editing and so on it's much easier for me to split it into videos. So here you see, okay, I also glue it 
the back and, and in the next video we are going to do the final details so I guess it's going to be a shorter video but uh, yeah I prefer to split it uh, it's easier to uh, to do all the edition and so on so that's all for now I hope you have you like it this one please give a like if you like it share if you think other people can be interested in the paint job of, of the cocksmiths and as usual uh, thanks a lot for watching and see you again later bye